My name is Anna Sprague. I teach in foundation. I teach uh, modeled forms and constructed forms, writing for the arts, and sometimes intermedia. Uh, when we speak about modeled forms and constructed forms in foundation, it's just it, it's just a way of dividing the two um, uh, sculpture, like two different approaches to, to making sculpture. Um, once you go into intro to sculpture, those distinctions are no longer there, but it's just a way of sort of dividing the material into two different. Um, modeled, we sort of think about it as um, you know pliable materials, a way of like manipulating and sort of uh, moving and reductively uh, altering a material. Uh, we're using plaster, clay, wire, uh, wax, objects made in chocolate, uh, all kinds of you know different materials. Anything that can sort of be um, pushed and pulled and, and controlled with the hands. In constructed forms, we think about we think about this uh, typically as more rigid, um, but not necessarily. We're looking at the way that materials meet one another, um, different types of connections that can mean um, folding, scoring, cutting, notching, uh, wood. Looking at different units of connections uh, and different ways to kind of connect wood. Um, with fabric, we look at sewing and the ways in which, like, a hemline is a connection between two between uh, two materials. Um, so, constructed is understood as more uh, cumulative or more additive, and modeled forms is typically more reductive or subtractive. Okay, so a lot of people wonder what course they should take. Should they take modeled forms or constructed forms? I think one of the things to consider is. Um, how will this transfer? You know, this this isn't just purely about sculpture. What is you know? How does this? How do these techniques transfer into uh, other disciplines? For example, in constructed forms, you could see you know if you're somebody studying cinema or film, you might be interested in working with um, building sets or props. Um, you could look at you know, architecture, um, fashion construction, uh, wearable art. Uh, all of these are things that you know that are off offshoot. The skills that students acquire uh, in modeled forms can help them and encourage them to pursue other mediums. So some of them go into jewelry or ceramics or sculpture. Um, some even go in uh, to learn special effects for film. Um, all of these have really interesting job potentials. I've even had um, a couple of students that have gone on to learn how to make prosthetics or dentures or even elaborate custom cakes.